In this problem, we need to find the magnitude and direction of the net force on charge Q2. And we're given this little diagram. We're shown that Q2 is negative, and that Q3 is also negative, and Q1 is positive. So immediately, I can say that Q2 is going to be repelled by Q3, and Q2 is going to be attracted to Q1. So I already know that the resultant vector is going to be somewhere to the bottom left. Now these arrows indicate the force. I'll call this one F3 because it'll be the force done by Q3. And I'll call this one F1 because it's the force done by Q1. And this resultant force I'll just call F. Now according to Coulomb's law, the electric force is equal to K, which is just a constant, and it's Q times the other Q, and these are the magnitude of the charge of the particles. It's all over R squared, where R is the distance between these particles. In this case, it'll be the X and the Y. I'll start with the force from Q1. So F1 will be equal to K times Q1 times Q2 over and this distance is x, so it'll be x squared. F3 is going to be equal to k times q3 times q2 over. It's going to be y squared. Now I'm going to draw these vectors separately. This F3 over here goes down. And F1 goes to the left. So I'll draw it like this. So this will be F1, this will be F3, and the resultant vector, which is what I'm looking for, will just be F, and I'll call this angle here theta. Now using the Pythagorean theorem, I can say that F is equal to the square root of, it'll be F1 squared plus F. 3 squared. Now I have to write this all out. So that's f is equal to the square root of k q1 q2 over x squared. This will all be squared. It'll be plus k q3 times q2 over y squared, and this will also all be squared, so that's it for my magnitude. In most problems, you'll be given the magnitude of the charges and the distances, and this is the k is just a constant, but in this problem, it only tells us to give the answer in terms of all of those variables, and I did that for the magnitude. I also need to find the direction of this force. To do this, I'm going to use inverse tangent. And if you remember, tangent of the angle is equal to opposite over adjacent. So tangent of theta is going to be equal to, in this case, the opposite is going to be F1, and the adjacent is going to be F3. So it'll be F1 over F3. To solve for the angle, it'll be theta is equal to tan inverse of F1 over F3. So that's your answer for the angle. So now you have both the magnitude and direction of the force. So thank you for watching.